Yo, yo, yo. If you haven't already, make sure you watch my other video where I talk about this trend line that I have popped up here. Um, and for this video, what I want to do is I want to walk through some Fibonacci levels that I see as being uh, being key, a few different ways to measure them, um, just to see if there is any confluence aside from just this trend line and the touch points that we talked about in that video um, to give us a reason to say that this is, in fact, the bottom and that this trend uh, will continue. Like, why why are we able to hold this, like, 2241 level? Uh, and I'll, I'll look at 2241 as well a little bit closer because it's interesting. Um, so yeah, if you, uh, if you enjoy the videos, make sure you drop a like on them, uh, comment your thoughts down below. The best way to support me is to watch the videos all the way through and engage with them in some way. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that this is, uh, the best technical content to watch for AMC stock, or at least some of the best. Obviously there's a bunch of other great creators out there as well. Um, but yeah, so let's get into it. So why did I say 2241? Because I've noticed that, um... Well, I mean, I'm sure everybody's noticed that since it, it just seems like every time that the price comes down here to this 2241, you can see you have a bounce here with this wick. Um, then you went below, but then you held it ultimately um, on this candle. You come back down, you bounce off of it again. And then now these two candles have now held it as well. Um, so this 2241 is being a very key level. We obviously talked about that trend line in the other video uh, from from like a, a trend-based standpoint. But I just wanted to do a few other Fibonacci measurements that maybe we haven't done on the channel before. So one way you can uh, measure Fibonacci is by a new breakout. So you can see here that this level was held uh, back here before the June run-up in at like $14.64. It was a resistance zone. If you measure from the bottom to the top there, you might be able to find a key uh, Fibonacci zone. So you can see here <clears throat> that we hovered just above the 786 on the, uh, and this is with log scale on. We'll turn it off and take a second look. Um, we hovered just above this 786 from here, and then now we're getting rejected down by the uh, 2341, which is the 707 Fibonacci on this measurement. Let's do the regular Fibonacci without log scale on. See if there's any other key levels. And you can see here that, yeah, it's uh, the 786. But let me remove the 2341. You can see the 786 held a support here when you measure from this breakout point. Um, and then right now we're battling for that 707, which is $23.41. Uh, let's extend this back. Measure just from the very bottom here, right before the breakout occurred. Um, and you can see that these levels, obviously, they're within uh, percentage points of each other, right? So they're going to they're gonna hold pretty close within the Fibonacci range. But you can see here that this acted as a pretty good zone of support for the 382. You come down, you hold the 0.5 as support before you're rejected down by it. And then this is kind of, the, actually, you're in the golden pocket when it comes to this one. So when you measure from just before that run up, right, uh, the very bottom, which was $12.06, you can see here that this is a key range. You're, you you break below it here briefly, you turn back around, find it as support before you're rejected by the 0.5, and then now you're just hanging out in this golden pocket range. And we've talked about how important golden pockets are um, many times on this channel, but if you're not familiar, basically the 618 uh, and the 65 Fibonacci levels, and they're, they're ratios essentially, right? So, um, but basically that is the most important Fibonacci ratio, the 618. Uh, so it's in trading, traders use it, use it as a way of finding support and resistance. And the 618 is the most common uh, level. A lot of people don't use the 65, um, but the 618 to the 65 is referred to as the golden pocket uh, in Fibonacci. So um, that's a key level. If you measure it from the very bottom, oh wait, hold on. Did we do if there's anything that's interesting oh this is log scale hmm, nothing too crazy you can see here the 707 held his ultimate support um 382 was resistance to the upside for that run up you see you broke above it and then you got rejected down you found the golden pocket as support before you broke down you found the golden pocket as resistance and then the 786 is support, but yeah, you're below here now. So 
Uh, the next form of support in this Fibonacci would be the 1899 level. Um, and then, as always, we do look at uh, the, the, the biggest Fibonacci, which is all the way from the bottom right here, right? Um, after the buy button collapsed down to $5. You can see here that these zones, the golden pocket was the initial zone of support after the distribution that occurred. Um, you found this as your ultimate support before your run up and then ultimately you got rejected down by it. You are floating just above that 786 level when it comes to this and this is without log scale on. Let's log scale on. And then we've talked about before um, how with log scale on you have yet to reach that 618 level. Um, and right now, you're basically holding above the 0.5 Fibonacci. So uh, really, you'd be looking at this one as either you go down to this 1950 for support, or you would come back up to retest this 2669. Those are going to be the most interesting levels uh, as of right now. But yeah, so that's pretty much the video. Um, we can do an all-time one too. Let's, so this is the all-time bottom to the all-time top. You can see here. With log scale on, you're hanging below your 236. The 236 was actually your, your initial support, so that's pretty interesting. Um, and you have yet to go down to the 382 for the Fibonacci here, which would be $18.29. And then this is with log scale turned off, I believe. Yeah, off. Here you can see that the... Golden Pocket rejected you down here recently. It was initially held as support. This is actually a really good Fibonacci. Like this one, this one actually is really significant. You can see the rejections occurring and then the supports occurring within it. And then you're sitting right on that 707 right now. The 786 for this one would be $17.23. And you can see this gap is so close to that too. So that's definitely going to be something to look out for. Um, and I know that with log scale turned off, the buy button collapse was also uh, the 786 back here. Um, and you did go back and fill a gap here too. So that that's definitely something to be looking out for. And then let me go where you can see pre and post market hours. Here, you measure to the top here. You see you hung below the 786 and you held above the 885 with this one. And then... Log scale turned. You hung above that 618. So let's see. Yep. So if a similar scenario to the buy button occurred, and I don't know what that would look like. I don't know. You know, obviously that was an anomalous event, but. If something like that was to occur and you measured the Fibonacci from this bottom, this local bottom to the local top, uh, you know, the $5 all the way up to the $72, um, then you could expect to go down, fill that gap that we talked about, and then perhaps you just hang at this level a little bit above this Fibonacci golden pocket before you swing back up. Uh, so that's definitely something to be looking out for. Again, make sure you go check out that trend line video that I made um, as well as like for reasoning why maybe you wouldn't be visiting that. Um, but basically the, the idea is this trend line has a lot of trading that's occurred uh, surrounding it, whether support or resistance. Um, and so uh, it, could be, it could be used in a case to say that the stock is going to be headed up um, from this point going forward. But obviously, we're going to have to wait and see. This is just analysis, by the way. It's not tech, it's not financial advice or anything like that. But AMC is at a very key moment. I, I mean, obviously, I think that that's pretty obvious to everybody who's trading AMC, holding AMC. Um, but these are just, you know, some of the technicals that we're looking for. But yeah, anyway, um, hopefully you enjoy the video. Make sure you go watch the other video. Uh, this is going to be the Fibonacci video. That was a trend line video. So make sure you check those out. Um, if you didn't already, make sure you drop a like on the video and comment your thoughts down below. All right, peace.